What is up, people? Annie to your guild forever. How how are your little shits doing? Once again, that's just my two cents of throwing some adult rated, not really adult rated, but more mature rating content by throwing a few curse words here and there. You know, a few uh, uh, fuck bombs and whatnot. Okay, I got that out. Okay, now we can actually focus on the video. Um, so. Seven Deadly Sins, Season 3. I, I said Episode 6, I think, in my reaction, when it turns out this is Episode 7. Right? We'll, we'll see when I upload it. But anyway, so we finally get the conclusion of the trial. We're done. Even though that literally took, I felt like a month. It's been a month, right? I'm pretty sure it's like a month with that whole trial, which was interesting. I did like getting the backstory of the whole war and what caused all this issues between the humans the humans in Britannia, the demon clan, why the archangels are so hated, especially toward that one chick that's pretty much always naked but has her dark aura covering her. Again, I forgot her name. Her name always slips my mind. But And now they're trying to do their best to help out this annoying version of Gother. Look, man, I like the creator. I even like the version of him back then. This version right now of him is a complete and total asshole. Like, I hate this mother effer. I hate this guy. So hopefully he changes, gets his heart back, and starts acting like an ass all the time. Because that's the part of him that I cannot stand, man. Like, I cannot stand his other self. Like, I mean, the self right now. His current self right now in the series so with him getting his heart back hopefully we don't gotta deal with that nonsense of his but we'll see in the upcoming episodes but so far this was good we get the conclusion of the trial or their trials of king and diane king and diane ship is finally in full throttle which i've been waiting for for the longest time and they actually did it right okay and now like the ship is sailed it's done. Like, it's confirmed. Diane and King is... The ship is sailed. So, I'm happy. Even though, in my opinion, all this that happened did, I guess you can say, strengthen the relationship. But it really wasn't necessary. The connection was already there. They already felt something for one another. This trial really wasn't even necessary. I mean, no, no, not the trial. Her losing her memory really was unnecessary. It didn't need to happen. But it did, which in my opinion is a waste of time, but whatever. I mean, the ship is confirmed, they're fine. I swear to God, Gother, if you do any more BS crap like this again, then... Oh my God. This stupid doll, man. I'm sorry. Like I said, I like the creator. I like the version of him back then. I hate the current him now. So hopefully, when, it, like I said, when he gets his heart back, he changes back to his, how he was before. But why did he run away? Is it because he remembered something unpleasant? And by the way, buddy, ki uh, Mr. King something, what's your face? You had that on you the entire time. Why didn't you give it to him before? Why do you have this? Explain why you have it and why you never decided to give it before. And now, out of nowhere, you decide to give it now. Like, I don't, I don't effing get it. Why did the king suddenly has it? And decided to give it now, but not before. You see what I mean? The bullshittery, man. The bullshittery. But either way, it was still good nonetheless. I, I enjoyed pretty very much so every, every single part of this episode. The trial was good. It gave more backstory to each individual character. Um, re well, mostly relating to... M we honestly, I when I was looking at the trial, I thought it was going to feature more Meliodas than anything else, but it concentrated more on the the on what actually happened during the calamity between the archangels, the humans, the giants and the demons, which is not bad. That's very important since we as the viewers, we never personally saw the whole scenario and the rundown and them adding Ban Look, to, in this episode, they kind of gave the incentive that Gossel, 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 the dog, the dog, King's dog, 
or I could say Gloxina's dog and King's dog. Um, it the series made me think that Ro, who pretty much looks like Ban, and I'm pretty sure is Ban's ancestor, got reincarnated into the dog. Am I just reading that wrong, or what's going on there? Because I'm pretty sure Ban's family lineage comes comes from Rao. Rao. I think that's how you say his name. Not this dog. But then again, this is reincarnation. Reincarnation and lineage are two different things. But still, I very much so enjoyed the uh, this episode. So now we're going to have to deal with the current Gother and try to get his heart back, assuming he wants it back. If he doesn't want it back, fine, just stop being an ass. If you want it back, cool, I don't have to deal with this annoying, immature, backstabbing, problematic child of yours. And here's the thing, he always says, I want emotions, I want my heart back. Bro, this guy hand was about to hand you your heart on a, on. A, the king was handing you your heart. Why did you run away? It, it, either A, you remembered something unpleasant that he doesn't want to remember again. That's why he ran away. Or B, he became a little bitch and decided to run away because he's a coward. I know some of you might hound me for Gother, but I'm sorry. This guy is too much trouble. He's way too much trouble than he's worth. Honestly, I want to have this piece of... But again, I like his past self, not the current self. If he gets his heart back and he changes for the better, cool. Just just stop causing trouble, Gother. Like, I've had enough of your shit. And I swear to Christ, if he starts erasing any more people's memory, that's it. Light this mother effer up and, let's, and let him be permanently extinguished. Because I can't stand this stupid doll for much longer. Un again, unless he changes for the better. Literally. Mm, I guess. Now that we have all the sins rounded up together, well, they're going to deal with Gother's crisis, but I, I really don't think that should last more than one episode. That should be done and that should be solved within the next episode. That shouldn't take more than one episode, in my honest opinion. Are they finally going to attack? Um. The demons? Because I know the commandment of love is still, like, you know. He's still healing after getting bodied by Escanor, which was sick. So, I... Uh, honestly, it best to attack him now, or they're probably still going to act as a rebellion. Because when you think about it, we're still on episode 7. Who knows how many episodes we have left for the Seven Deadly Sins. It's either going to be 12 to 13 or 24 to 26 episodes. I'm hoping for that 20th number mark. Because, yeah. Um, I still hate the stupid white blood thing that gets on my nerves. If they would change that, I would forgive all the stop motion animation. Because if you notice, the animation in this season isn't as quite as hyped as the previous one. It's, okay... The story is interesting enough to make me forgive certain, like, lazy animation. But just get rid of the white blood, man. I'm a grown-ass man. I'm not here to be censored. Stupid as hell. I don't know. Some people probably got used to it. Me, personally, it's, it's too noticeable. I think I'd rather them spit rainbows and make it a humorous gag out of it. The white blood just makes me feel like I'm being treated like a child, which I'm not. <clears throat> Gotta get my H2O. But yeah, guys, Um, so what did you thought of this episode? Did you like it? If anything, I feel like people will like it more because for those King, King and Diane ship fans like myself... This probably made this this it made me happy. I'm sure this would make you guys happy too. Assuming you guys are Diane and uh King uh shippers. Uh Meliodas and Diane shippers, I'm sorry but no.
No. And oh no. Diane and Meliodas is hell no. No. Mm -mm. That ship, no. Sorry, but no. Personally, I don't ship Meliodas with anyone. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He's a good guy. It's just that he's such a huge pervert that it gets to the point to where, like, I don't ship him with anyone. Diane seems to like him, so... And, well, she's the only girl that he, like, scoops up a lot. But, like, I don't... I, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care about the Meliodas and Diane ship. I like him as a fighter and kicking some b booty. But that's about it. I like seeing when he fights. I like seeing his backstory. I like seeing him as just himself other than with other women. You get me? That's it. I don't like him when it comes to shipping or any of that. Because it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel genuine to me. But once again, he's not a bad guy. He's just someone I don't ship with. Anyone. Okay? So, just making it clear. Alright then, guys. Uh, question one. So, uh, after this episode, can you guys say, like... Um... Are you a Diane and King shipper? Let me know yes or no. If no, then explain to me why. why. If yes then let me know if this episode was satisfying to you as a King and Diane shipper. Question two. Let's see. Based on the three Gothers we see. Yes, I say there's three. The Gother, the doll Gother from the past, the creator Gother, the one in the chair, I call him Wheels. And the current gother that's a douchebag. Out of those three, which one you prefer the more? And which one would you want it to see more in the current timeline of the Seven Deadly Sins? And let me know why. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys. This is my guildmates, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.